Hey, so what's going on guys? So a short video here to share with you on how to test the heating elements in an electric hot water heater. The very first thing you want to do is go to your main fuse box or breaker box and you want to shut off the power to the water heater completely. You're going to need one of these digital multimeters. You need to remove the top panel and the lower panel. After removing both panels, you need to remove the insulation. So after removing the insulation, then you remove these plastic shields. They just kind of snap in there. So now I want to show you guys where the heating elements are located and what they look like. Let's start with this top section. This is actually the thermostat and it has a big red reset button on it. And if you move down here, follow the yellow wire down and the blue wire, it connects to the upper heating element, which is located right here. It's like this red and orangish looking thing. This particular one screws into this unit. It does not bolt in there. So you need a wrench to get in there and, and unscrew this thing out. Moving down to the lower section, there is a second thermostat down here on this section. And then underneath that, with the black wire connecting to it and the red wire connecting to it, is the lower heating element. Okay, so before I go any further, I just want to test the multimeter here, make sure it is working, that my leads don't have bad wires or something like that. I have it on 200 ohms right now. I'm just going to go ahead and touch the probes together, and I should get a reading, you know, on there of something from 2 to 5 ohms or something. So there it is. I know that my multimeter is good, and I know I have the breaker off, but I want to double check that anyway right here at the thermostat. So I'm going to change the multimeter to 750 ACV and I'm going to touch the probes here at the top on the black wire and the red wire. I should not get a big reading on there like 250 volts, 240, 250, anything like that. I'm going to do it both ways just for the heck of it. Okay, so I'm getting nothing. So I know the power is off. So now we're good to go. We can start testing the heating elements. Make sure you're digital meter is set to the lowest ohm setting mine's 200 on this one all you need to do is touch the probes to the screws on the heating element you should get something between 10 and 16 ohms that one there is good and again the power is off it does not matter that the wires are connected here i'm going to switch it around and just to show you it really doesn't matter which um, you know which one you connect here so now we can check the bottom one since this one's good. Okay, so now I'm down here at the lower heating element. We're gonna do the same test as we did above. Just touch the black one into that screw and the red one into that screw and you can see I get a reading of uh, 13 something there. Again, anywhere from 10 to 16 ohms. That's pretty consistent. I know that one's good and if I switch these around, uh, it really shouldn't matter. I should get the same reading. So there's continuity with that one as well. And let me show you what a bad one looks like because this is the one that we replaced. So here is an actual bad element that we just removed from the lower panel area of that tank. You can see it's in bad shape, all rusted to heck, all broken with holes in it, completely shot. It blew a breaker in the breaker panel. So anyway, with the testing we just did, going through and testing the good ones because we replaced the bottom one. So of course that's gonna have continuity and it's gonna be good. Let me show you what it looks like on this one when you go to test it. The same settings, 200 ohms. You basically do the same exact thing we did as if it was installed in the tank with the wires connected to it and the power off. You just touch the probes on there and you can see like no reading. So if I switch these around, same thing. So there's no reading, and that's what will happen if you guys are going through and testing the tank as we just did. You're either going to get a reading or you're not. Yeah, I would say that's definitely broken. But real quick, what happened with me is I got up, my water was burning hot. It led me to the breaker box to see what was going on. I went there, checked it, the fuse was blown. So as I went down and did my testing, I came across this one, which failed the test and did not give me any reading. So that is how you do it. So when you go to buy a new one, this is a screw-in type, and of course it says 4500 by 3380 there. If you come over to your tank, you'll see on the tank there's more information there, and it tells you the lower, yeah, it just shows you the numbers, 4500, 3380, and upper, 4500, 3380. All right, guys, so you can check out some of the other videos with this water heater, how I replaced this element, 
and the thermostats and how I drained the tank. Just check in the description for the links or in the video here if you see the link. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share, and I'll see you guys next time.